Starting an online business can be difficult for you because it's too much important to select the right product to sell, which is having a high demand and low competition. But especially when it comes to Shopify dropshipping, finding a product can be more difficult because Shopify dropshipping trend has been changing every month. Because as you know, in past couple of years, every year the Shopify dropshipping is changing. In 2019 and 20, the Facebook ads were very good performing, but in 2021 and 22, the Facebook ads are not that much effective for Shopify dropshipping because the new platforms are coming in like Pinterest ads, Google ads and TikTok ads. So the trend is changing now. So obviously the matter of product research will be changed as well. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step method of Shopify dropshipping product research from which we're going to be using TikTok and TikTok Ads Manager to research our product because before starting selling that particular product or investing money in that, we need to make sure that this product must be selling for all other dropshippers as well. Like if other dropshippers are selling that product in past week or past month on TikTok or any other platform and their ads are getting good engagements, good CTR rate and good conversions, that means this product is a proven product and if we start selling that product now, today, so we can also get some good conversion as well. So all the information step by step I'll give you in this video. So keep on watching this video till the end without skipping any part. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave your 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and from here on Google, you need to type TikTok Creative Center. So after typing that, you can see this first link ads.tiktok.com business creative center. So you need to click on that link. And then from our top right corner, you need to sign up or log in. So if you're already having the TikTok account, so you can just log in here. Otherwise, you need to sign up from your Google account or you can just sign up from email as well. So after signing in, you need to click on that menu on the top right corner. And then from the left side, you need to click on campaigns inspiration. And from there, you can see four tabs, top ads dashboard, creative insights, creative strategies and showcase. So if you want, you can just explore all of these options one by one. But the most powerful option is top ads dashboard. So I'm just opening that one. So from here, you can just see all of the top ads for all the category and all the country which TikTok are running here. So for example, if you are in USA and if you are selling the products in kitchen category and then if you want to see like how many people are in USA and they are selling kitchen product for past seven days. So imagine if you get the data of all of the TikTok ads related to your category running in your country from past seven days and they are performing very good. So imagine what can be the best thing than this because you are actually seeing the ads of your competitor and you can just find out which ads are performing good and performing bad. So you can just simply skip all of the bad performing ads and you can just select all of the products that are having good performing ads. So this magical and free method will prevent you to waste a lot of your money into the product which are not selling. So from there, you can see that the country is selected as United States, but you can just click on drop down menu and select any country you want. So in this case here, I have just selected United States. And when I come down, I can see multiple filters here. So from the first filter industry, I can just select any industry. For example, if I want home improvement product, so I can just click on home improvement. And there in second filter from the objective, I need the ads which are getting conversion. Like I want to see all of the ads which are running in United States for TikTok and which are related to home improvement and which are actually getting conversion and which are actually running for past 7 days. Or if you want more data, you can just click on past 30 days. And on that filter duration, you can just try out the ads which are 20 seconds, 30 seconds or more. But I don't think that this filter will be super helpful for you. So you only need to fill out 4 filters like country, category, conversion type, and last 30 days. So after selecting your category, you can just see all of your TikTok ads which are running from past seven days or past 30 days in your niche. So let's say you can scroll down and you can just keep scrolling down until you find some good product. And as soon as you find, you can just keep searching, keep finding products and keep pasting the link of that product into a Google sheet or Excel sheet. So after doing the work for two or three hours, you can have the data for 20 to 30 products to test. So you can just arrange the product data in tabular form like the product link, product name, product category, uh, product website traffic, product CTR and all of that stuff. 
So then the analysis will be more easier for you and you will be able to make that good decision which can give you profit. So let's see if any product looks good to me. Uh, this yellow color products like uh, your sheets are trash. So it seems to be interesting. So just click on that. So here you can see that this product is uh, uh, running the ad in the United States. The industry is home and decor. The conversion is good. And you can see that it's having 1,753 likes, 68 comments, 210 share. And the graph you can see that is super high. Like this graph is exponentially growing. And here you can see that the CTR, the CVR, the clicks, the conversion and everything. So you can simply get all of the data of your competitors ads who are running their ads on TikTok for free. So you are getting this free data. So it's up to you that how you can utilize that free data to get the maximum outcome for you. So after analyzing all of the data, it's up to you which product you finalize to sell on your Shopify store and which product not. So after analyzing the data and watching the video ad, you can see that when you click on this play button, you can just actually play the ad. So in that way, you can just find out many ads. You can just uh, actually see the ad, try to understand about the product. And if you like that product, you can just click on this copy link here and your link will be copied. And you can just paste that link into the Google Sheet and move on to the next product. So after that, you can just keep scrolling, keep finding new products and keep adding that product into the sheet. And at the end, you will be having a free data of many of the good products that are actually getting sales nowadays on TikTok. So in that way, your analysis will be more easier. So try out this method and let me know in the comment box below that if this method works for you or not. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.